Hey East Denver Vineyard, Kathy Maskell here. Hope you're hanging in there so far this week. I want to share a thought from Henry Nowen on how God is mercy. And this theme of God's mercy, radical mercy, is going to mark our sermon series this month. So he says, God is mercy in mercy in mercy. The older we become, the more we realize how limited we are in our ability to love, how impure our hearts are, and how complex our motivations are. The more we look into ourselves and try to figure ourselves out, the more we become entangled in our own imperfections. Indeed, we cannot save ourselves. Only Jesus can save us. That's why it's so important to remove your inner eye away from the complexities of your own broken heart and toward the pure but broken heart of Jesus. I love this so much. What a helpful framework for how to engage with our own brokenness and our broken hearts, especially as we consider how to deal with the sin of white supremacy and our participation in that. In fact, Kate Marshall led a group this summer in doing some of that inner work, and I've asked her to share some highlights of what that group was able to work through together. Check out her video, and I would love as many of you as are possible to join us for our outdoor worship service this Sunday. Love you guys. Hey everybody, my name is Kate Marshall. Really great class and group that I was able to be a part of and lead this summer. Um, with about 10 or 12 other people from our faith community. We got together every other week and studied the book White Awake by Daniel Hill, which is a really important starting place for white people um, in this journey of racial reconciliation and racial awareness. It is a journey of understanding our whiteness and understanding the impacts of that. Um, and we explore topics like white identity, white privilege, white fragility, and white supremacy. Um, we coupled that with Latasha Morrison's material from Be The Bridge 101, which if you're not familiar with Be The Bridge, it is an incredible and really the leading organization in faith communities when it comes to ra racial reconciliation. It was founded in 2012. Um, but we got together as a group of learners, um, people who are just starting on their journey of racial awareness and um, entering into conversations about racial injustice for the first time, as well as people who've been participating in these conversations for a long time and have maybe more understanding, but we all have, it's a lifelong journey and we were able to go deeper no matter where we were together as a group. It was so helpful to come together and have times of confession and also exploring ideas that are unfamiliar to us. So I'm really looking forward to being able to lead another one of these groups, hopefully coming this fall, and I'd love for you to join us um, as we as a church try to embody God's justice and mercy and shalom on this earth. So let's keep learning together.